at Be, Downey Landing. Before they, before they rebuilt it, every time I put my boat in there, mm -hmm. put it back on the trailer, and I could not get the doggone thing on there yeah, straight. No matter that should what. be all straight down now. I mean, I, I have heard no issues. They really well, I did see an that. issue, though. If you've got a really long trailer, Hello. the transition from coming up the ramp to the parking lot, you got too much of an angle to it. Yeah. The guy grounded the trailer right on that. He bridged it right there, and they had to have a, a record come down. Oh, see, they're supposed to change that, too. Yeah. That's all part of the plan is to regrade Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi, Kelly. I'm sorry for my tardiness. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, at, uh, You're here. <laughs> 20, at 6.22, call the meeting to order. Until further notice, to keep our members and staff safe and to comply with RSA 91-A, the COVID-19 state of emergency, and the governor's orders on restrictions of public gatherings, the town of Alton is holding remote audio participation meetings. To remotely attend the meeting, audio only, visit our website, www.alton.nh.gov, the day of the meeting for telephone access and Zoom instructions listed under news and announcements on the homepage or telephone the planning office at 603-875-2162 between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. for the dial-in code and meeting ID for each master plan committee meeting. If you are having difficulties accessing the remote meeting, please call 603-507-1002 for assistance. As a reminder, at the Master Plan Committee meeting of October 7th, 2020, meeting the, the meeting, the committee voted to temporarily suspend in-person public attendance. If the public has any comments on anything discussed at the meeting, they can email their comments to the planning department at planner at alton.nh.gov or by U.S. Postal Mail 2, Alton Master Plan Committee, P.O. Box 659, Alton, New Hampshire, 03809, to be read at a future meeting. Uh, roll call. Uh, Russ Wilder here. Kelly Sullivan, finally here. Paul Larochelle here. Bob Regan here. Tom Hoops here. And alone. And we also have uh, town planner. And oh, I'm sorry, Jessica Call, town planner. Amelia Case, and secretary. And Tara Bamford, who's our consultant on Zoom. Uh, first item, approval of the agenda. Any items uh, anyone would like to uh, amend? Make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Uh, roll call vote? Yes. Paul? Yes. Bob? Yes. Russ? Yes. Tom? Yes. Uh, item number one on the agenda. Uh, Tara Bamford, Master Plan Consultant, will be in attendance to discuss the following. A. Tasks 2, 4, and 5 of the contract. So... Tara, you're, it's all you now. <laughs> did, did you want to go over the timeline first? You would ask for a timeline. Uh, absolutely. We can do uh, that. That was the first page and what I sent out. Just any thoughts or comments on that before we get to work? I thought it looked good. Makes a lot of sense. Looks pretty good. Well, I have well, I have some specific questions on some of the specific topics, but I think we'll be getting into that in a little bit anyway. Um, but uh, uh, in general, I would say that uh, the, the flow is uh, as we had anticipated, and uh, it uh, it appears to be okay by me. It's a positive flow. <laughs> all right, good. It keeps all of us busy. You guys and me. So. Um, do you, 
So does everybody have that handout in front of them or should I put it on the screen? Yep, I think we all have yeah. that. Okay, good. So let if we go to the, um, the draft vision. Yeah. Excuse me, Tara. Do you, can you put that on the screen for us, please? Okay, can she do a share? It's, I don't have okay. the rest. All right. Yep. Oh, it says oh, it was yeah, all right. I think we're all set. We just needed an extra copy, but we're good. Okay. I'll always be ready to share things on the screen, but you guys need to enable it. So <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so um, we talked about um, at the planning board meeting, we talked about adding a third question to the two question survey. We had talked about a two question survey just to let people tell us in an open ended format what they like best about town and, and what would make it even better. And that's a way of getting at values and And we talked at the planning board meeting about adding a question in front of that uh, that would enable some cross tabulation to see if people who live there have different responses than people have vacation there. So I've added one. That's what question one is. So okay, um, I had some I had some uh, comments on question one. Yep. Uh, first of all, I would uh, suggest that maybe we have a uh, an additional uh, uh, K which is, I work in Alton. And uh, along with uh, uh, C, D, E, and F, I would add a, 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 an item next to it that says how long. How long you've lived year round, how long you've lived here part of the year, vacation, retired. And uh, I, I the, the, the reason or the rationale for asking how long is so when we go through the data, we can characterize the people who are responding in terms of longtime residents uh, versus the people who are relative newcomers. And I think that's going to be an important uh, way of slicing and dicing the data. I, I, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody further comments on that? I agree with you. <laughs> Makes sense. It makes sense. I had that very same question. And what was it? Add K? What was that? Uh, K would be, I work in Alton. And so which, um, can you it, see again uh, and, and, you wanted that added to? I'm sorry? Can you say again which ones you wanted that added to? Uh, C, D, E, and F. Uh, we, we could also apply it to the other questions as well, but I think uh, I, I think those are the ones that are, are going to be important to be able to uh, pull things apart by. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Um, I'm wondering a couple things. One is whether you'll have a big enough sample for that to be meaningful data. And and whether it would be um, could it could it be divisive to show the results divided up that way, kind of a us and them long term. Well, I, 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 I'm my my thought on the divisiveness we'll get into a little bit, but the important thing from a data uh, perspective, I think, is to be able to. Uh, put people who respond into a variety of categories and make multiple different slices of the data. You know, one slice, everybody that lives in Alton, a different slice being uh, long-term versus short-term and so forth. I, I, I think making those uh, uh, separations as we go through and try to develop what the plan is gonna be uh, becomes more important. Uh, or not, but I, I, I think I think it's a, 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 a set of base data that we uh, ought to try and capture if we can. 
I think it's valuable, Bob, because if you take an extreme, the concept of the summer visitors' needs and wants are a lot different than, well, not, not necessarily, but they normally are different than the year-round person. They're, they're concerned with different aspects. And, and that's why we're adding this question. I, I, I'm not seeing the purpose of making it even more granular. I mean, you're, you're already adding this question so you can see if people, the year-round people versus the seasonal people are different. When you start adding how long, I think you're gonna find the data isn't, it's not a big enough sample to be meaningful. And really contrary to your purposes, to, to be showing it broken down. Well, for, for example, I, I, I live here, I retired here. I've been coming here for a much longer period of time. In addition to the home I own, I also have a vacation property on the lake. So, you know, trying to, based upon people, you know, answering all the, all the things that are applicable, uh, I, I think this data that you know, is worthy of collecting. And I, I guess the Tara's point is, what are you going to do with it? Right, like that's uh, what I'm thinking. How, like, you know, how are you going to use it? I think because you know you, you're taking a snapshot of the people who are here today and what do they think, right? And then you're think, you're talking about going forward from there. When it comes time for us to try and normalize the information we receive from different categories of people. I think it's going to be important that we are able to differentiate between the, the short-term people, the long-term people, the vacation people, and you know the long-term vacation people versus the people who just bought the property. I think we'll see that, but that they all have a stake in the in the town somehow, right? No matter how long they've lived here. I don't. I don't see you. Yeah, yeah. I don't see that. We're just talking about who's here today and what's going forward. It, I don't think it really matters how long. I, I agree. I, I think we're going to see that when we go through the list, and when the people that send in, we're going to see what they're answering. Right. And, and how they're answering, if they're vacationers or if they're year-round people, what their concerns are. And we can uh, differentiate that in between as we review it. Uh, as we review it. It's a lot easier to disregard data than not have it at all. I mean, if you collect more data than you need, you can always jettison the stuff that you know, it, it's not useful later on. Well, I think you can get the general consensus of what people are looking for and what they want as vacationers. But, but I, guess, I guess my biggest concern is the 5% the, the of the people in the town who will, who will provide 95% of the input. So yes, and I know that's what you're thinking. That's exactly why they had a petition. And, so, and that's also why all in for all things. Well, we even sad. So I understand where you're coming mm -hmm. from, and I'm right down the middle um, because I do think it's important to differentiate because there's going to be a slew of people that are just long-term people that don't want any change at all, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But they're not even open to the thought of a master plan and the reason for it. The reason for the master plan is not necessarily to change the town; it's just to see what that people's feelings are. But exactly. most people are very closed to that. Yeah, they're also very loud. Yeah. They're loud well, and they're preparing for the future. They so, need to understand, and even at delivery, they need to understand that this is not to change this, the look or the town of Alton as it is. It's how to grow the town of Alton. Right, but they don't understand that. And that's Some why of them they are starting to, but we can, we can right. elaborate on but, it. So I do understand yeah. where you're coming from, but I do think. We went over that question a lot when we did. <clears throat> well, all in Peralton was a good exercise, Everything but, but, it was, but, but it was also a, a major disappointment because we only got input from a few people, right. and, and they were the loud ones. Right, and, and the way we went about getting that input is this exact layout. Everything that this layout is, is everything we did. We did a survey, we did questionnaires, we did mail, you know, we, but with besides the town-wide mailing because we didn't have the funds for that. So I think more so than anybody, I can appreciate the questions and where we're coming from because I put two years into this very thing already. Um, and I think, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do with those questions 
we just have to try to do what we can and, and engage the people that we know that we'll call with the loud ones for now and just try to make them see that this is not for change for tomorrow. That's right. This is just a plan for the town. Every town has one. It's just something, you know, like when you That's budget correct. your home and you know you're going to need a furnace like or something in the future, it's just planning for those things. And we need to help them to understand that, I think, is all we can really do. Some of the loud ones are, are going to be loud no matter what we do. Right. Um, but some will right. understand where we're coming from. So I, and then I would say to that as well is all we can do is try to push um, more, and I don't know how that would be, but push more towards the people that are not, you know, the, maybe the people that all the, all the, the community profile didn't get, you know, try to get those people to come out. It's really just about everybody's opinion, mm -hmm. and I think... Well, the normalizing the input is what I'm... I, I, I completely yes. understand. No. I really do. Well, Rob, Rob, you're not going to do that. This isn't going to be a scientific, statistically significant survey that you can normalize the data. And once you've collected it, it's public and you need to share it, whether it's valid data or not. And that's one of my concerns. And you want the whole process to be consensus not not data that statistically what could be used to further devising. I would also say to your point, Bob, that being a relatively new person in town of 16 years and still being an outsider and trying very hard for the last community profile and being engaged with the public on multiple, many occasions that I feel very strongly about the point you're making. So I, like I said, I'm kind of down the middle and I want to lean that way because I want to know that information myself, but I would defer to Tara's expertise in this particular instance. Just a, a, a Final point. I had a conversation with a fellow who's a friend who may be the largest landowner in the town. And he was extremely vocal and adamant about, you know, I don't, I don't want to see an iota of difference right. tomorrow from right. today. Right. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, right. though, that I mean, that's a huge base of our town. It is just. Well, it's not the largest. The largest base doesn't live here year round. No. They pay right. most of the taxes. Right. Right. So I think right. that. I think what you, what you really got to do, you got to look at. Right, and I think for yeah. us, it's like maybe let's just step away from that, let them do their thing, and they're going to do their thing, but let us try to but move it, beyond that. That's part of the normalization process that I was trying to get at. Right. I get it. I, I think that these questions are good. I, I, yeah, I just don't think we need to put, how long have you lived here? I don't okay. think that's relevant. It's, you're here today. You're, you're a taxpayer. You're, you're a member of the town. You're part of the survey. There's got to be a group of people that are they're going to look at a survey and they just don't do surveys. Right. So we're going to have people that don't do surveys. Yeah. How many people just say, no, I'm not doing this. Yeah. And that's going to happen. Because, well, there's one more there's perspective, no Bob. There's, Bob, there's one more perspective, and that's the number of people who have participated in almost half a dozen surveys. And they say, well, I already gave you this information. You didn't do anything with it. Right. So, yeah. That yep. we have to overcome. Yes. The simpler you make, so I it, think the more people will do it. Right. right. I think so. All right. So can we just confirm yeah. that we're not going to add how long to C, D, E, and F? Okay. And we're going to add K. We'll add that K. says I, I work. Yeah. I think K should stay. No, I agree. Actually, shouldn't it become J and J should become K? Well, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Just to be specific. <laughs> <laughs> it, I would say it's like around eight, there's, maybe. There's, there's a reason okay. we have. There's, there's a reason we have Russ here. <laughs> <laughs> I would make an eight, I think. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a question on uh, going back to the first page on Survey Monkey. I, I, I don't have a lot of uh, history with it. I've used it once or twice as a uh, respondent, uh, but, but um, the question that I have, is there a way to val uh, validate or verify that a person is only 
providing input one time and and not stuffing the ballot box, so to speak? So there is, but I'm not recommending you do that because it's not a statistically significant survey and you want to encourage people in, in multiple people in the household to each do their own. This is a visioning survey. Okay. You want, mm -hmm. you want everybody to be able to chime in. Oh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't, do not disagree with that. So if I said mm -hmm. it, I only allow one response for a, per address, per IP address, then you can't have husband and wife. Right. Right. Okay. And okay. they're often That's different. Good. Well, they, you know, we, we do have the vote as of 100 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, going through the questions, uh, uh, just picturing what I would respond and what my wife would respond, they're not quite the same. Yeah, so you don't right, want so, to be So, I, I like these questions, Tara. I mean, I know we discussed this at the planning board level as well, but I, I think they're, um, you know, it's it's simple, it's to the point, and they're certainly not leading questions. Correct. Right. They're very they're simple. Wide open. Yep. Yep. Yes. I like I like the setup. No, it's good. Yeah. Any comments on those or are we good with those? I'm good. I'm good. They're simple, like you say, keep it simple and people can then just you know yep. say what they, they think. Right. That's what we want. Uh, I'm not trying to scare anybody, trying to trying to you know, uh, trying to make it look worse than it is or, or anything at all. Just simple questions. Simple basic. survey and ask people basically what they think. It's also probably easier to analyze. Yeah. Do we send the postcards to everybody that has a tax bill? Every property owner, yep. I already sent the list over to Tara. Excellent. That's already done. So the idea is to get it to every body on the voting list or property tax list and remove that duplicate. But uh, mm -hmm. you don't want to capture only landowners. Right. right. Oh, I had one other uh, note on here that I uh, omitted because I didn't read it. Uh, a, one other question that may or may not be worth asking. Are you a municipal employee of the town? Under, well, under number one. That's, it's probably a hundred and something people, right, Paul? How many people work yeah, for the town? Yeah, pretty close. Counting fire and police and... Largest employer in the town. <laughs> what, it's close, it, it, what would in you, the 90s. Are you talking about adding that to number one? Yeah, that's the, 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 that's the thought that I had. had. You're only going to capture municipal employees who live in town or own in town. Right. Well, um, hmm. right, because I'm not filling this out just because I'm a town employee. No, well, yeah. I, I'd like to have you have the opportunity to fill it out. Um, I, I, I don't know that it should be everyone. I don't think it's restricted to people that own property yeah. in town. It's people that have a engage, yeah, on, yeah. A, on a steadily yeah. on a steady basis. So, do you think we want to add as a a group all the employees for the town? I mean, then you don't have to ask why all municipality. Yeah. yeah, because you guys all have a stake in the, what goes on here, mm -hmm. big time. So, yeah, I think that's good. But they, I don't know if you have to ask the questions as long as we send it to them. Well, we'll know who they are when they answer something. Well, I don't think we only get the input from people that receive the postcard. I think there's, you know, people will see it on various Facebook. Uh, well, if it's a town uh, employee, we'll probably just email it to them because mm -hmm. that if they're not engaged, if if they're young and they don't read the paper, <laughs> or if they don't see it out some other way. I mean, if you really wanted that, want their input, I would say we would email it to them. Town-wide. Hey, Tara, what's your opinion on this? So I think I it's a great idea. I, do you have like a system that everybody gets an email pay stub or something that you could include the link? 
I mean, I can send it out I think to everybody. If you're going to officially have a checkbox for municipal employee and include municipal employees, you want to be sure it gets to everybody. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I overlooked anything else from Rochelle. So that's another Bob Turney page. <laughs> any any uh, thoughts on the wording of the postcard? We got, because we've been doing six months of going right from concept to wordsmithing at the same meeting. That's a, how we've got to do it. I'll add employee to the postcard. Right. I think it looks good. Yep. Great. So it says, please respond within two weeks of receipt or something. Yeah. Well, you know, we're not going to have an actual cutoff date. We just want to make sure that we have if most people, if they do it, are going to do it within a couple weeks. Yeah, right. So, but we need to figure out what our response rate is too, right? No, you can't really do that because you don't have any way to manage how many people are doing it from each address. You right. won't have a response rate. It's not going to be a scientifically significant survey. It's going to be a community attitude survey. I, I think too uh, what uh, what Kelly went through with the all in for all. Though know, one of the questions is is how many people did you actually hear from? And uh, you know we could say, well the town has five thousand a year round residents. We have fifteen thousand in the summertime, and we got eight thousand responses. You yeah, know, I don't know. You'll have an approximate response rate, but we'll know how many postcards we mailed and so forth. You'll know how many town employees okay. there are, and you'll know how many of them check that box off. You'll you'll have a. Well, good the reason I, I think it, it's good to be able to think ahead that yeah, we got it. We got to be able to say we got a good response rate. I mean that's you know. Well, if you look at there. the old plan, that they had a whole section on on the responsiveness. Yeah. And and they broke that down uh, fairly well. But as we're setting this up, we want to be able to capture that absolutely so that. Um, uh, we can answer the question, well, you know, at least half the people in town responded. At, at, the, at the same time, somehow or other, and I don't know how we do it, we want to give a, an assurance that their responses are anonymous. Oh, true. That would, that would state right within the... Yeah, that would state on the... Right on the survey, it's anonymous. Yeah. yeah. yeah but, but just to say that we sent out 10,000 and we got... 6,000 back. I think that you would look at how many people in town vote and cut it by a quarter, but down to a quarter. <laughs> the turnouts have been pretty poor. And people are just party. not engaged. And as I would say, out of all of my community um, engagement over the last 15 or 16 years, I would say, uh, and the number one, the number one item that came from the community profile that we really couldn't do anything about was the lack of participation in the town of Alton. Right. It was the number mm -hmm. one takeaway from the profile, but that's not an actionable item that as a group of people yeah. that wanted to come together and create change on a grassroots level, we could not implement that. But that is a huge issue well, within well, the town. That's something that we talk right. about a lot here. Right. So, mm -hmm. but, but that goes to Russ's question. I think it's hard to gauge it is. our response rate with that being a huge forbearance. And then we're doing, we're going about it differently because we're doing the mailing. Yeah. I don't think you well, guys did a mailing. I think we send the postcards out. Ago. And then when the postcards out, we send, and everything comes back in. If it doesn't come in like we expect it to, we have to go to a, a phase two of some sorts of reaching out to the people again. Yeah. And I think doing it a different way. We wouldn't have a way to, to gauge it. I think we would kind of know. I think I think we would know within our group of what we felt would be a a reasonable response rate at oh, yeah. at the at the two week period or just yeah. for instance. I, I, I would I would offer a, a one slight change process wise that in addition to 
uh, simultaneous with the mailing of the postcards, mm -hmm. we do a press release. Oh yeah, yes. oh, I yeah. think that's a given. Yeah. Everything goes out at once, and you and yeah. you slide everywhere. Try to get time. everything out there all at once, yeah. and then get the the feedback and get the feedback, and then, uh, then see oh, what right. we get and there. mention like you know mentioning it at a rotary meeting, you, you know things like that. I do if you week. you know go talk to someone at the Legion, you know right. mention it to things, yep. mention yeah. it to people there. Yeah. But if you we know, mention it to like well, this week, we press released it. Um, and we would press release it in the Laconia Sun as well because a lot that's of where I post it. Yeah, and the Bay Sider, mm -hmm. and then you're going to flood all your community page. The Planning Board has a page. Yep. Tax and Rec and has a page. Best Individuals, yep. we can flood it, and then just right. try to get it out there all within a day or two, so it floods, flashes mm -hmm. everywhere, and then you just keep following up on it. Yeah. Right. So and what I'm really what I'm do. in the process of is talking with our IT department to see if we can put. Um, a master plan committee, like on its on its own page on the website. Mm -hmm. That would be good. So when you click on government and you look at all the departments, mm -hmm. I would like yeah, master plan it committee. Super easy. So I want it to be like just its own animal. Yeah. So because this is sure. huge and I want it to be huge. Yeah. So that way it can get out there. It's yeah. not stuffed underneath the planning board page somewhere. It's just yeah. a link to click right. on. No, I agree. Like I want it to be yeah. very yeah. prominent. There's nothing that hinders you know? people more when they're online. Yep. They have to mm -hmm. Fish. Right. So, I mean, they want to just get there quickly. So this is a little more work, and I'm not suggesting that what I'm about to say we should do. But when I put that the group, the the, the areas of town together, I was thinking of there's probably a leader in each one of those areas. You know, there's somebody who's the mayor mm -hmm. of that neighborhood. That area. Right. The mayor of East Salton just passed away. Exactly. <laughs> But so that's what Tom, you know who I'm talking about. Yes, I do. <laughs> right. But that's the idea. Yeah. There's always some somebody who is like opinion leader. The mayor. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And I don't know whether we could uh, maybe somehow reach out. What, what did I come up with? Maybe 20 different little yeah. neighborhoods or something. At least. Like that. Right. You know, if there's somebody mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. who would be willing to carry the torch to talk to his neighbors to say, did you get the thing in the mail? You really ought to send it. Okay, well, as we get to the subgroups, yep. I think that's one of the uh, one of the things that we do yeah. is to, you know, identify who those individuals are and make sure they're engaged. Because to be able to right. get out there, and I know we will talk about this, we are going to have to walk the walk ourselves and get out there mm -hmm. and talk it up. And get that community engagement. It's the only way it's going to work if we do it all. So right. this I, sure. I get your point, Bob. But Talk to we need to get those people before the subcommittee level. We need to get those people at the survey level, like Russ was saying, so to get that this is the engaged time. answer. This is the meeting. This is the time to make that list of who's going to do which of these things and who who I'm working with on what press releases and and whatnot, because this, this survey card will get out in a couple of weeks. So these are all okay. great. So we need to actually leave with an action plan of who's who's doing what on each of these ideas. Can we pull from that list you had email uh, for places that Tara should visit? Would we be able to pull from that quickly? I don't have, obviously. Well, I mean, it would be, it's like, it's in your people's yeah. heads. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know who yeah. Well, I can. I can right. obviously do like all the all the shores. That yeah. Oh, there's 181 dwellings on Rattlesnake Island, for example, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's a community to itself. So they're having their annual meeting at Ellicoya Barn and Grill on June 26th. It's all the the Rattlesnake Island Association mm -hmm. is having their meeting over there. That's you know perfect. So that's perfect. You know, that that's a way to get a hold of Rattlesnake Island. I don't know about Barn Door and mm -hmm. Piper's Point is another spot, you know, and uh, all the every along the lake anyway. Along the lake, all the way around. Woodlands, there was Rogers Street, there was you know, you can go along the line and then southern part of town, you know, Stockbridge Corner, you know, get Peter Bolster to go after Peter. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter knows everybody. He does. So anyway, uh, that's a, a, I don't know, we could brainstorm that 
in this book, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't we why don't we make that an agenda item for us? I, we, when we get into when we have our next meetings, uh, Tara, I'm thinking that we can meet uh, twice a month, even though you're with us once a month. And an agenda item for our you know second June meeting might be to try and brainstorm and come up with those subdivisions, if you will, and try to get, get some okay action that. to yeah. make sure we contact. I, I think that's a good idea. So you'll and have everybody a, so on you'll, board with that. You'll have a second June meeting that's outreach for the survey. Yes. I, what was that? You you were kind of breaking up a little bit. You're, you'll have a second June meeting to plan the outreach for the survey. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. Great. Do we want to try to set that date now? Since we're on it. Uh, we can try. Today's the second. We want to go there's four more weeks right. in the month. So let me look at the town calendar. Yeah. Don't wait too long because it will get out in a couple of weeks. All right. Well, the 15th is our next planning board meeting. Uh, the logical thing would be go to the 16th, but that's pretty tough on. Uh... Why don't we just do it? Yeah, right? that, that, <laughs> take, that night's already booked. We oh, got the nine. alternative housing okay. committee. The following week is Zach. What about the night? How's the night? Um, it's in a week. The night is next week. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I've, I've got what I've got in my head right now. Tonight, I think I'm open the night. Let's see. The night, 6 p.m., the night. Um, <laughs> June 9th. She's really hoping to find something on that date, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't see. have, when are we starting? June 9th. When's so that? June 9th is open. That's next Wednesday. Right. Okay. Right. When is Zach? Stop. Zach is not until the 23rd. Okay. Um, are you okay with the 9th? Yes. Okay. Nice. And, and so what we're going to be doing that night is trying to identify key, key people yes. in each of our, community, our, of our uh, neighborhood. Areas of town. For outreach, yeah. For outreach. And then assign people to go give them a call and say, hey, look, this is coming out. Can you make sure that everybody fills it out in your mm -hmm. name? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and those people we could literally hand deliver the postcard to. Right. Uh, the, I'd like to ask Kelly if she has the information from all in for uh, Alton, from all the. Well, uh, we, we've got the uh, whole. We have the whole uh, document set uh, somewhere. Okay, because I mean, I think that would be good to go over as well as whatever information we get from the, uh, you know. All information is good information. Right. I, well, um, in, in terms of uh, base material uh, to work from, we've got the old master plan. We have all in for Alton. We have the information we're going to get from the survey and then the engagements that we do. Right. So you put that all together, and that's, that's a, a lot. That's a <laughs> big file. Right. And, right. and sorting through it is not going to be a small task. So my my plan was to use the survey results, the existing plan, and the all in for all in materials to, to facilitate and organize the community conversation in August. Yes. So feed into those. I, I, I agree that with that. Good. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. So we we'll be working pretty fast. Um, Okay. So the one, of, one, of the, one of the category that I don't want us to lose sight of, uh, I, I believe that the committee itself will have certain uh, areas of focus that may or may not show up in the other sources of information. And somehow I want, I want to be sure that we get that formally captured and not just in the uh, meeting minutes, but to, it, as we compile all the stuff, uh, you know, that, that that's in there. For example, I'm kind of kind of adamant that there be a section for, for uh, capital improvement program, and the whole idea of uh, 
of the capital reserves and how that gets utilized going forward. That's something we won't get from either all in all nor the existing right, plan. Right, right. Yeah. And, and stuff like that. Yeah. We want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Because what, what we're getting in these first six months is reasoning goals and an outline for how you produce the plan. And that's, that's all going to be part of that outlook resources, all the assets kind of a movement. That all feed into the process and outline. So everybody's in agreement with the postcard then? Yes, yeah, I thought the postcard looked good. Look good. Yep. When's the actual date? Did we already set a, a date when this is going out? I, I, I will let you know when I know from the printer. I'm sorry? I, I will let you know when I find out from my printer. Printer, okay. Thank you. So the next thing is the, the interviews. And I, I put in the scope of work, um, five just conversations, kind of informal conversations with local officials, business leaders, and five with groups who might, who might give other perspectives. Um, in, I, 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 I know I'm being a pain in the neck here but that, that's my nature. Uh, one of the notions that I've had uh, for a long time, you know, way going back 30 years, I found it always useful not only to talk to the top dog in a particular organization, but if you get people in the collective, you, you get a much broader picture of things than you would just talking to the person who's the leader of the group. And I don't know if we, if it's, it may or may not be beneficial to have separate meeting with the individual uh, group heads, or if we only have sessions with the entire organization. Uh, I don't know. Thoughts? I mean, that right. would be an additional task, certainly. Planning right. on a meeting and facilitating it is different than an informal phone call. What I, what I'm, what I'm trying to get a little bit is one goal is an opportunity to give these ten opinion leaders to, to, um, to get stuff off their mind, right? Um, so I want to ask things like their role in town, how long have they done that? Do they live in town? See if they know what I'm asking them, fill them in a little bit, and so on. And see what, what their priorities are, ask what's worked or not. Um, do they think they or their group could help with the update? Do they have others in mind that might be able to help with the update? It's a little bit of a broad net, but so so I'm counting on you to tell me who the five, who the ten are to, to cover everybody. The, the sound feedback is actually coming from the town. Mm. Because I can see it when I'm talking. I think it's maybe because you have duplicated an audio somehow. Maybe it's these speakers. Well, there's some. Um, oh, it's it's the room as much as anything. Yeah. Um, the uh, I don't know how we overcome that. I I don't know either. All right. So so you you tell. I'm counting on you to tell. Who the five are in each of these that I should speak? To. Are these the right five? Well, yeah, because it cuts out. Like I can mm -hmm. probably can understand out. what she's saying. Listening on the phone. Hang on, we're trying to get things improved here. It doesn't help anything that I'm hearing impaired in my hearing aids only work so well in certain environments. Yeah, she's cutting out. The, the more, the faster you talk, the more it cuts out. I didn't realize it was back feeding for yeah. her. I thought it was just not coming through on our end. Yeah. But it's actually back feeding and that's yeah. annoying. That's, that's very annoying. I don't know how to fix that. 
I think it's maybe the volume a little bit too. Sometimes I know when I'm on calls with other people, if their volume is too high, it. I well, that's that one down. You just did that. Is, okay. is how about Tara? How's your volume on your computer? You you guys sound good to me. That's okay. better. Okay. I think it was yeah, that, it, you just sounded better than you did before. Good. Sorry. Yep. All right. You were coming through a week, Tara. Don't want that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the okay, let's let's try backing up a little bit uh, about four minutes worth, and and see if you can repeat what you were saying before. Yeah. So the question is, um, are these the right? Is this the right list of five opinion leaders for local officials and business leaders? And is this the right list of five to talk to about underrepresented groups? This is just well, my underrepresented. Uh, I think so. Well, there, 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 there are. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to administer it. Is. Are there other swaps we should make? Are there some um, important local voices like the Legion? Well, the, uh, Rotary, obviously, well, from my point of view. Right, and, and American that, Legion, possibly. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think that's, that's an important. And, um, right before the yeah. bar opens. Would Rotary well, be better it, than the Business Association? The Rotary, Legion, uh, Masons. So she's asking, would the Rotary be better than the Alton Business Association? The ABA. They are, they are different. Right. Well, that when was your question. And I would say when you speak to the, to the Business Association, you're probably just going to talk to the board. Yeah. Kelly is on, is, deals with that, and she's the person to talk to about who to talk to. So how do we make it be 10 all together? That's, that's the goal is make, make it be 10 in this list all together. Well, all together. I, I could give you a, a list of other ones that I think of. I think the former road agent, the one who just retired, could give you some good input. And the- Well, it, also the current public works director- I was gonna say that. Is he, uh, he spoke to our public works director. And he has a different perspective than the former road agent in terms of the overall uh, makeup of those yeah, kinds of I services for the town. Uh, I do agree that it would not be a waste of time to talk to the former road agent also. Because he was but, here uh, 20 years and did a lot of good mm -hmm. work. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. But but it, his focus was a little bit narrower than the uh, current public works director, at least from my Perception uh, in having um, talked to both of them. Yeah. Okay, we've added a bunch, but not taken away any. Did you right. want to? I thought you were looking for a list of 10. So there's five five. local officials and business leaders and five groups with local knowledge of that are kind of different voices. So we need to. Um, I, 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 I think once, I think in addition to the uh, physical town areas that we uh, discuss at the next meeting. Maybe we do a little brainstorming around the, uh -huh. uh, the you know, other organizational cuts. I, I think that might be, that's, that's probably a meeting's worth of stuff. And hopefully at the next meeting, we have uh, more of the eight of us than we do today. And would you like to talk? So also get <laughs> input from them. Ron, Paul, and uh, police and fire chief. It's going to put me a couple weeks behind. Right. Yeah. Because uh, she, she wants to do these interviews like soon. No. No. Yeah. I want, it's no. fun Later. Starting those. So it'd be good if we could deal with that tonight. To, who, who are okay. the. Uh, well, okay. Uh, hang on a minute then. Uh, the two biggest uh, budget items in the town are the police department and the fire department. Right. That's why I mentioned that and the and, school. Uh, but we're not and doing school. a and CIP. School. We're not doing a CIP. We're asking 
you know, what you, no. what you think is the priority for well, medical plan. Well, well uh, let me argue that point, uh, putting, a, putting, a finer, putting a fine point on that. The master plan drives the CIP process. Yes. If it doesn't appear in the master plan, the CIP, the CIP committee cannot even talk about it. But I'm, I'm so, a little bit concerned about you putting the cart before the horse because what we're doing now is the vision. Yeah. Not the specific need, not the specific recommendations. We're talking about the vision. Right. Okay, and I agree with Kara. And I think we definitely want uh, the former road agent and the, and the new person, mm -hmm. right? And I don't Stop. think, and we have our other department head, uh, but, but I, I don't think we necessarily have to, yeah, I agree with what Well, if you're going to add the former road agent plus the current public works director, we have to take off two people from this list. Right, no, I understand that. So if we're going to add so people, we need to take off I'm, his 10. I'm uh, the budget committee chair. <laughs> well, uh, you've got, you've got 10 now. On, on this list that Tara had provided. So I'm going to excuse my ignorance for, um, I realize that we get assistance and we have people that send utilize that the housing up. authority and the, and, okay. and the camp. There's, there's five and then five. Uh, yeah. I just, yeah I it, the other so okay. I, yeah. I take cap probably if we're going to limit ourselves to 10 cap goes off. Uh, Alton community services. Uh, I, I'd love to see, well, We'll get them engaged in one way or another, but later on, I don't think they're a main focus necessarily. And I think you could probably get information from the Alton Community Services through the town welfare. Office. Well, and that's what I was thinking about all, the last three of those. Is we could right. probably gather that information right from town records. Community service, well, yeah. Uh, well, the senior center is currently run by CAP. So. Oh, So, so that's that's one. So, what else, so I so think what, the, those five turn into two. So keep Alton Senior together. Center and keep Town Welfare Office. I'm sorry. What, um, keep the Alton Senior Center and keep the Town Welfare Office and axe off the last three. And, and everything else falls under those those two. Okay. Those three yeah. fall right. into one. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that so leaves us three. Well, okay. Senior Center and CAP are together. Uh, Welfare Office, Community Services, and Housing Authority, those are together. Oh. And I, I would... In my mind. I don't want to... Senior Center. Don't throw me under the bus or anything. But I would, if we had to limit one of the Legion or the Rotary, I would speak with Rotary first, just because they're much more engaged in the community. But the people, I, I mean, I, I don't know how you want to separate that. I mean, people from the Legion have Are just fully. as much say as oh, people from the Rotary. No, no, I know. They're engaged fully with the cemeteries and of, of the veterans of the town. Yeah. No. And the Veterans Association. So no, they're, they're fully engaged. I mean, it might, it, some of their opinions might go against the popular opinion, but oh, those are opinions anybody. are just as equally as important it, 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 as everybody's opinion. I, I really think you need to include the Legion. Oh, I think so. I, I, yeah, I, I need recognize that they also represent some of the loud voices in town. I'm not worried about anybody's opinion. I'm just trying to limit yeah. our list to 10. Right. I meant no offense I get, to anybody. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, so let's do this again. Uh, the Alton Senior Center and Maconia Cap. It, well, it, it, just Cap. Cap. Uh, together. That, that's Community Action Program. That's Meals on Wheels. Yep. It's all these senior. So you want to put those, those two together. Yeah. So which one are you picking? Because she's going to interview one person. Well, the, the, the director of the senior center is also the cap person. For so we're going to keep Alton Senior Center. Yeah. So we got that. It, but, and cap. It, it, so and, Alton and, Senior and, Center is going to include cap. Right. 
Right, but, but, but make sure right. it's understood that that's it's what. It's all done at one end. Okay, and then the, the Town Welfare and Community Services and Laconia Housing Authority together, or not? I'm not sure how they're organized since Miriam left. I'm not. Yeah, I was going to say that right. it looks redundant to me in the underrepresented stuff. I think once you talk to one group that represents that, I think you have enough. Mm -hmm. Right, and I think you could get that from the town welfare office. Town welfare, okay. Yeah. Um, well, the town administrator, all, all of those functions report up to up to Liz, right? But the welfare officer is and she's, she's the director. Separate thing that's put that right. in the administrative office. Right. And she's actually the director of the town welfare office. Yeah. Liz. Liz's. Liz's. Yeah. yeah. So you, you got two two uh, birds with one rock right there. One. <laughs> So the town administrator is also the welfare office yes. administrator. Yeah. So we could combine those into one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so basically, I just got to write the select, the, the select board chair is yeah. virtual now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can I listen in on that? So. Of course. <laughs> it, so I'm a little so I'm a little confused on that. So if he's supposed to recuse himself from stuff with yeah. master plan, yeah, how does he, he interview? This is a funny one. Well, right. he, that's he, a final he, will, he will have to. No, no, he will have to, and I'm vice chair. Who is this we're speaking of? So uh, Virgil, the, 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 the chair of of the selectmen. Um, he will have to recuse himself from anything to do with this, uh, which he already has. Right. So let's just so we can clarify. Yeah. Select board vice chair. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Tara, are you following that? By the way. I think I that. I'm writing it down. We'll see. <laughs> Good luck with that. We're going to have Jessica's going to give her a follow up with that list and, and a quick explanation of everything. I, She's I going so. to have to. Just keep in mind where you. You're trying to extend Jessica's ability with you not make work for her. Right. But by the time you're done, you'll understand all of this jargon. <laughs> we'll end up with 10 in the long run. Mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to get, you can, because some of these people you can get sort of like, you know, two birds with one stone because they're the same yeah. time. They're the we, same we people. All the perspectives though. We're not trying to get two birds with one stone. I think we only need to get rid of one more. I would suggest the uh, budget committee. <laughs> I served what? six years on the budget committee, and the, most of the members of the budget committee felt that their job was to cut the town budget, whereas the the role is to ensure the town has adequate funds to meet its commitments. Okay, I, I agree with that. <laughs> so you're saying not the budget committee, not to have the budget committee. I would suggest that, yes. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I, we'll count, I count 10 without that. Okay, can I, can I do a quick recap of, of, our, of our list yes. before we go any further? Yes. So we have the select board vice chair, the town administrator. She's also the director of the well, town's welfare office. So we're going to cross off town welfare office. Yes. Well, let's cross off um, an administrator. I think I think it's important that you have some that are. When I speak with her, I'm talking with her from our town welfare office hat. All right. So you want to talk? To, okay. So we'll Otherwise, leave town we no welfare office. Voice. All right. Well, it, it, it's the person. Doing that work now is not the person who's done it all. Okay, so we're going to leave the town welfare office and cross off town administrator. Yeah. Okay. So now that person is left. Take out the budget. Taking over. All right, so we've crossed off the budget committee chair. We have conservation commission chair and Alton business association chair. Yeah. We have the Alton senior. I have Rotary Legion and Mason. 
Yeah. Sorry, guys. What's the American Legion Yeah. Yeah. As far as business leaders, are you still are you in that top section? Well, it's now kind of all one list here. I've got I've got Alton Senior Center, Tau Alpha Office, Black Board Vice Chair, Conservation Commission Chair, Alton Business Association, Rotary Legion, Masons, Current Public Works, and former Road Agent. All right, we don't have Masons. Okay. All right. Yeah, we do. No, yeah, well, I, he didn't add them on the list. Well, okay, I heard somebody yeah. say that. I, wrote them. <laughs> I did write it down. Have your goodie. Okay, so Rotary Legion, former road agent and current public works director. I can't. Yes. Um, hmm. We're not talking to the church. Nine then. What so you can put somebody back? That's only nine. Uh, How about a church? Oh, that's a tough good. That's a that's gonna be a regional church because it's got a lot of the money to build that place came from Wolfram. Right. First yeah, so it's, it's, I'm thinking of the community church. Yeah, and it's St. Catherine's and I think it would be difficult to do one church without all. I would skip that. Right, because yeah, then you're I only think, sort of picking one religion and leaving everybody else. I don't like that one. Yeah. I, why don't, can we, why don't can we can we kick that? That's a can I'd like to kick down the road. Um, <laughs> why, don't, why don't you think about a tenth when you meet next time? Um, okay. This will get me started. Oh. Okay. How about, uh, how about the uh, the emergency center? No. I'm talking about health care. Me and like the one on Hello. one hand. Oh, Huggins. Huggins Hospital and the other one, which is emergency care. The yeah, minute that clear choice? Clear choice. No, I don't think so. This is Neither one of those? No. Well, it, as we do, when we do the outline, I think health services becomes something, you know, which is a an area we talk to various individuals about as we start to populate from the outline. And at that point- Yeah, but I don't think that she has to go and interview them. No, not initially. No, but- Right. Okay, so what about, um, what about the building inspector? Excellent idea. He has a perspective like no one else has. Yeah, housing and you know health health, health related things well. you know that there's he wears many hats enforcement all sorts of things i'm okay with that yeah he's uh, um okay he's his official number 10. title is uh code enforcement oh. officer uh, yeah. health officer, health officer. Yeah. and code official he wears three hats code enforcement health Health officer and building inspector. And he should have an apprentice. Yes. Mm. <laughs> He's busy yes. yes. have an apprentice. Some of these I'm gonna need help with contact information. So I'll work yep. with Jessica. No problem. Um no it, it, it's a lot easier to add to this list than yeah. subtract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I had another thought. <laughs> well, the same thing as I was thinking of, of, of the town you know, health care, town health care, health care, and then ambulance service, getting, which goes back to the fire department. I know. It goes back to emergency. This list can just be numerous, so you, you're so trying to... Well, but we will gather that Here's one other... Yeah, right. Here's one other that I don't know. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Here's, here's one other that I don't know that we can omit, and that's the town assessor. Because an awful lot of what we're going to hear from the uh, yes. residents of the town as their number one concern is the tax rate. We will definitely hear from Rob at some point. Excuse me. Oh, sure. We will definitely hear from Rob at some point. At least this is something. Yeah. Can yeah. And, and right. Well, there we go. What about Ray Howard? Seriously. Yeah. Good. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of people who voted for him. I wouldn't give him a minute. Yeah. Well, 
Ray can fill out a survey. He voted to secede from the New Hampshire government. I think we have enough now. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good right at the moment. We're good with our 10, Tara. Great. So I think that was the end of my list for tonight. Amelia's got her head down. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I, oh, man. I don't know how we're going to do this. Is, so do we have anything else as far as, as far as, so we're good with the survey questions? Yes. We're good with the people to interview. Yes. We like the schedule. I think that's pretty clear. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, we have another meeting set up mid June. June 9th. To nail down the sort of identify the one key week people. from today. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, Wednesday. And um, uh, I'll, we'll do a, a, a individual outreach to folks and. You know, try and impress upon them that it's important that they attend. Yeah. Right. And we'll figure all those key people out next week at our, at our gym. Yep. Right. yep. But I think Tara has everything she needs right now. Correct? Tara? Yes. When, when you do the outreach to folks, too, um, you know, give them a heads up that we'll be having those community conversations later in the summer. That their that their participation is starting with that online survey. Okay. Right. Good. Right. Yeah. Good. So I think then we're good for for tonight. You have everything you need from us. Yes. Then. Yep. Excellent. Thank All you. Right. All right. All right. And I'll get you the um, contact information for the um, for the interview people. Right. Super. Thanks, Carol. Very good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you right. very much. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Perfect. That all sounds good. Yeah. It ain't going to get the floor. Yep. No. Um, we can try. We well, can try to keep it from when we going get, out. When we get to the I was going to say, we have to really try hard to keep this from going left. That's why we have a camera. Right, because it can. It, I can see it right now. It almost really just did, you said. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, that's just discussion. But it can. It can get blown out of proportion. But, but I, oh, yeah. a, a thought that just came to my mind, which may be dangerous or not. But I think as we go through the steps, if we focus upon the outline, I think that's one way yeah. of getting some of the noise in, in contact. Uh, yeah, and, and and put and put things into the appropriate category. It'll keep the general noise level down. Right. I hope. Okay. So you don't want to make it confusing. We're going to meet next Wednesday on the ninth to figure out key people for our outreach and maybe we can figure out when some of those association meetings or you know are taking place as well and have that information. Yeah. Yep. That I'll send out that well. list again that Russ had so that we're yeah, so if you can think about telling, okay you know, so who do we know in that neighborhood right. that makes a lot of noise. You know? mm -hmm. uh, so I can think of some yeah. people right in the bay. Uh, some some key people in the bay, a few few people that well, well, the conference center is something that we can't ignore. No. Yeah, I just put that down. Also, and, and the other well, one talk to people a little bit too. As I mean, I mean, I, I would see. like to see. As I would really love to see participation. I mean, I have previously put in a lot of effort to this cause. I would love to see more participation from anybody, loud or not. I just right. want. Well, well what I'm saying, is somebody who yeah. you know would talk to other people who was willing yep. a Ruth right. Arsenal type of person, you know. Right, right, but but not everybody yeah. like the thing is is that like I know I have the shores on lockdown. I know their whole board. I can totally reach out to, to all the shores and that's not a problem. And I know who the oh, you do. Okay. And that's fine. Oh yeah. That's fine. But we can compare notes. I lost contract. We made a whole right. list while yeah. we were talking. But some people you know. like you may know them but they're not necessarily the best person to go out and talk because they're not. Well, that's what we can and argue that's about. But we really right. have to figure I mean, out. When it comes to local business, businesses basically in the Bay, I know most of the owners, most of the people in the Bay, and, and people that own 
uh, not necessarily just the bay, up up into uh, Echo yeah. Point and things like that. So there's some key people to talk to there. Right, and it could be business owners and that might be willing to, you know, put up a little flyer. You know, so Town of Alton survey. Right. So this, is it something simple like that? Just some you know. Well, people yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Can't think of her name. Uh, so that, that, I think that's I'm not 100 sure. I have never yet. That's Tom trying to talk. What's that, Tom? I know the name. I would put up a notice at Hannaford's, at Pop's Club Show, at you know all the yep. places that people visit a lot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But those business owners that put up, you know, information, hopefully they'll talk to people when they Unfortunately, the bulletin board at Hannaford, yep. I try to utilize right. it for some rotary stuff. Right. They don't. It, it's way in the back. And if no, you don't go down that hidden corridor. No, I don't. What you really need is somebody who's willing to um, talk to their friends and neighbors. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whoever it is these days at, at the Gilman Corners. You know, should do, but we got Peter. Peter will talk to people in South Alton. Yeah, right. So we can do this next week when we when we meet. But I think that if you can maybe do what I just did, which I just went through my, I plugged in everybody whose name was has Alton in it, and I said, oh yeah, that would be a good person. You know, so. Yeah. Okay. So that sounds it's good. Possibly, yeah. possibly um, even. Have a little reach out or even mention it in a uh, public session of the select meeting. Yep. And even put it out there in yeah. public so people are aware of it and that, that it's coming. Right. Well, normally we do our select reports, so that's public. So in the select report, I could really um, put a pitch in. Right. Can you do me a favor at tomorrow night's ZBA meeting? Can you add an other business Absolutely. to the yeah. agenda? And add other business other just bills. as an announcement? That so, the town will be sending out a survey yeah, um, at some time. But so yep. Paul and so, so yes. we're going to come up yep. with a okay. date and then yes. the survey goes yep. other business. It's other, and yep. then we're going to put in other business and, put other business and, put and that with that we're going to be doing this soon. The planning board is going to put it on the Absolutely, their and, their and I, I will mention it just like that. And I'll put that on. I'll put it on my page. The business association will put it on our page, and all of our local, the Rotary, will put it on their page. So everybody will page it on social media at the same time, or you know, that same day. So it's like everywhere people look and then we will just continue to follow up and push, push, push. Yeah, how do you how do you keep the conversation going? With and then that's gonna be more word of mouth and then having somebody to just, you know, pin it to the top of the page or comment on it and bring it back to the top on social media. Yeah. How, I mean, I'm not the biggest social media person. Mm -hmm. um, we could also, uh, yeah. uh, but it's a good idea. Yeah. Amy is, Putting the final touches on the whole home week brochure. Right. We can maybe we can put That's a little perfect. something in there. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Sure. Put it on absolutely. There. Yep. And if we don't have the survey link by then, then at least putting a blurb in there, you know, to contact yeah. contact the planning I would department for the put, survey. I would basically, and basically put the postcard. Yeah. Something like that. I would half page it, right? Yeah. And if we have to pay for it, I, I will gladly. Do, do we have funds for that? Yeah, we do. That's why we're here. I think so. Yeah. And you're gonna half page. I think this. And if we have the link, that would be, Tessa, dare I say. <laughs> You're from Boston, aren't you? <laughs> and, and that will go right in the old Home Day booklet. That's an excellent, because I mean, so many people. Well, we print, uh, we print almost, two, uh, let me think, it's a 2,000, 3,000 copies of that booklet. Right. And they go. And what? if we put mm -hmm. the postcard pretty much verbatim in there, that will then recollect when they see it well, in the we, paper or on, you know, on, in, if in we the put the, If we put this blurb the way it is here, right into it, that's probably the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll see, I'll see uh, uh, Amy tomorrow, you know, make it happen. Yeah, sure. All right. We can do this. Awesome sauce. Yeah, definitely let her know because I know that she's finishing up putting that together. So that'll be awesome. That's a great idea. That awesome. excites me. <laughs> Every bit of input is good. Okay. Well, and, and Amy does the Facebook page for uh, ABA, and she also does the Facebook page for Rotary. She yeah, we all that, we though. all Facebook page for the ABA, but. Huh? <laughs> no, I think that. I said we all Facebook page for the ABA. Is, that's why I said for the ABA, I'm obviously a contact, but 
-hmm. we do everything as a board. So basically, we all try to kind of equal Sparrow. share it. Equal yeah. share, do that. But you yeah. do a pretty good job with that. Yeah, right. thank you. And it it, all, yeah. it it works right when you have people that you don't mind working with mm -hmm. that are you know. I'm also uh, laid back. An, an email. Yeah. You can also email contact with that as well. Yeah. With the Z, um, uh, the ABA. Sorry, ABA. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we and a lot of information on that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, back to the agenda. Right. Yep. That we've left. Uh, approval of minutes, April 29th. I read the minutes. I thought they looked good, so I would um, move to approve the minutes of, I believe, April, April 29th. 29th. Uh, second. Russ, second. Uh, uh, roll call. Kelly, yes. Paul Larochelle, yes. Bob Riggin, yes. Uh, Russ, yes. Um, yes. Okay. And uh, any other? Uh, we'll, we'll do the uh, final final thoughts, but because uh, I think that's worthwhile. Uh, Kelly, we'll start with you. Where do you think we are? Where I'm, I'm we excited. Going? I feel like we're making it somewhere now. <laughs> you feel like this is is uh, going to be more successful than all in a for all. Um, I hope that it is. I and you guys worked real hard at it. We did, and I'm not going to lie. Like, when I read her contract, it's everything we did mm -hmm. for the community profile minus the town-wide mailing because we didn't have funds for that. But we did Survey Monkey. We put it out on, on community pages. We really shuffled that. We had it in the paper. We had... Um, signs at local stores, drop boxes for questionnaires. I mean, I stood at voting and people looked at me like I was a leper. <laughs> I mean, we put ourselves out there. We got the, 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 the dump on Saturday. That's yeah, important. I mean, yeah. we really, so we did everything that we are doing now minus the mailing. So I'm just really hoping that more people come out. That's why I said I don't like, and of course we saw a lot of loud people that yeah. came out there, but you know those people are gonna be there. You need to just look beyond that. And it just, you want feedback. I just want people to be engaged. So like, how do you try people to make it be. exciting? Hey, we're doing the master plan. Like it's exciting, but really, if you are a young family starting out, it could be exciting because if you think you have some changes you'd like to see happen when your kids are growing up in the town, that could be exciting. Um, I think it's a little difficult because I think sometimes people really think that there's a lot of louder people, mm -hmm. but really your voice matters. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful. Yeah. That's why I'm here. So this is yeah. my like last hurrah. I'm all in and then I'm like done. <laughs> I hear you. I've been involved a long time too. Um, and I would and I would say like and again I think in our interview a lot of my experience I I'm not politically motivated. All of my community service hours have been with kids or you know community activity things like that. I don't get political. It's just not my thing because I want to be happy and you know like come if you like even like the ABA like you want to come to any one of our meetings we have fun. It's all about having fun and not being stressed and just you know doing good for the community and that's where I'm at. So the profile was something, um, it was an experience. Um, and from the profile, um, we gathered a lot of information and then we tried to, um, I mean, I'm proud of the, the work we did with the profile. We had a nice grassroots um, group going that implemented some change in town, tried to work on that. Um, the pandemic kind of squashed it, but you know, and that's okay, it, it is what it, you know, it, 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 but Pavia you was find a lot in. it was kind of frustrating to, to put it mildly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the effort was was noticeable, not as appreciated as it should have been. I would agree. And I would say, for instance, and I would go on record and say, so uh, we have those top three takeaways that came from the profile. Uh, one of those things was a recreational facility. I. Just like these questions here, everything we did with the profile was completely open-ended. There was no agenda. It was, I mean, it's, I mean, it's almost verbatim. Okay. John Markham 
probably lost the election over that. I'm sure he did. And this is and this is why earlier I understand your frustration because as a new person of 16 years, I feel that frustration very much because a lot of older people, and I wouldn't say older necessarily, but just people that have been here or that are from here feel a very certain way and feel very strongly. From the profile perspective, you don't want to disregard that. They have, I mean, absolutely not. You want to take everybody's input into consideration. But it's very frustrating when you try to just gather information to see what other people feel, but they don't want to explore those. They don't, they don't want to hear your opinion. That's not right. So everybody should, you know, has an opinion. It should, you should be able to hear that opinion in a, you know, in a, in a calm context. Through my experience, I took some courses on how to get information from groups. And one of the things that, that they touched upon uh, in an inarticulate way was consensus does not mean compromise or agreement. It means you understand how right. we got there. Right. And, and, and that's what we've got to try to achieve. Right. Yeah. Well, and I think we've learned a lot, especially through this past year, is that you don't have to agree with somebody. You just have to respect their opinion. Right. We're not all going to think the mm -hmm. same thing. We're not supposed to. We're all individuals. We do not have to agree. We just have to respect each other and be able to agree to disagree. And, and, I'm okay and, with and, that. It's called being an adult. And accept the outcome of the process. Right. Right. But when the process is shut down before the process gets going, that's frustrating. Right. And then, you know, so so that's why I'm okay. So I'm here for this. I would really love to see more. I would love to see participation. I, yeah. really, so really, I think whatever that is. My question is, what are we doing that's fundamentally different than your effort? The mailing is the only thing that we're doing different. The mailing. But what about the, the, the uh, mailing? And also, we've got a tool that we didn't have back then, which is Zoom. And I right. think that well, the convenience gonna... of being able to walk to your computer, uh, click on a button and say, okay, let's talk. Yeah, but I, the point is, is that people aren't even going to do that. Right. They're not interested. Right. So the, my, my thing, I'll go back to why I think this, I have such a great idea, and that is get to the local leaders. Take our town and break it up into little neighborhoods and find out who those leaders are and get them to actually beat the drum for us, because right. we, that's that did not happen before. We did but, not happen. But that's because people don't care. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying is, is, that it, is if you want to try to reach a group of people, right. you've people got to find somebody they and, trust. And a lot of people don't want to. They don't like to participate. They, well, they, they don't want to be noticed. noticed. They, 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 huh? They don't want to be. They noticed. don't want to be noticed, and if, and if they that. Only the loud ones. I think, I think this is going to be a difference this time. And I think the reason, uh, I think we have the right attitude. Uh, not that it wasn't the right attitude before. I think a lot of people would, would right away before just didn't want to accept any kind of change. We've just gone through a pandemic. Right. We've all changed. Right. We've had a major change in the last 14 months. And this is changing our lives forever. How we do things, how we do people are working at home, people are doing things. So now is the time to embrace that and try to work with the people, work with everybody, say, hey, right. this is this is how things not that we're trying to change anything, it's not God forbid, but we're not trying to change the town. It's, but we're we're trying to get a general consensus. Where does everybody want to and go? And it's our job to try to get people to understand. Our job is to get everybody to pull together and say, What's what does everybody want Alton to be? And along with that, that's one piece of it. Mm -hmm. The other piece of it is the stuff that we can't control, right. that we have to be prepared for. Right. You know, we're all getting older. We, if, if if I go to a, a rest home, I got to go to Laconia right. or or, or uh, Ossipi. Right. Okay. There's nothing here. And you know, it, it's all wrapped together. Exactly. It's all wrapped together. And when you look at the, the big picture, it's all wrapped together with healthcare, where we live, how we live, whether it's large homes, tiny homes, right. developments, how we're going to do this. And we're going in the right direction. I think Tara is going to work fantastic for us. Yeah. Let's help her do her job and be open minded with her. 
to work through this and then get, gather as much information as we can and get as many people involved as possible. And, and I think that's going to make the difference. Yes, and I just wanted to one more point, and I agree. The biggest difference is, like Russ said, getting to people and actually, so talking to those community leaders or those neighborhood people, and that requires manpower, right? So the profile was a strictly volunteer group of what, like five people, and we can only do so much, right? So we are the committee, we're putting the questions together, we're doing all this, all the stuff that Tara is doing for us, we were doing, and then we did the press release, we get everything going, we put it out there. So we try to go out into public areas to engage people mm -hmm. because aside from actually going to 20 or 30 different places and talking with people, yeah. right? And that's basically the biggest difference. Right. And you, can, and you really can't. We don't have the resources to, for us to go around. Right. And mm -hmm. then to, now Paul knows, like, so Bob and I are very familiar with each other. You and I have seen each other around. Russ, I mean, when you go to committees or you volunteer, there are the same people that come out, and you know that. So it's the same thing with even with Zoom. You can have a Zoom all you want, but who is going to actually come? Who's going to actually participate to the Zoom right. meeting? Right. You know what I mean? Right. So it's all about that participation. The only way you really get that is through personal contact. Mm -hmm. We can send out all the surveys we want, right. but unless we're talking to people and we're engaging right. the public, it's not going to go the way we want. The to. good thing is, is people have been cooped up. Yeah. People have been cooped up, cooped up. And, and I do want think to your be, point earlier about people, where we're coming from this past year people, and a half is a very valid, people, very good point. People want to, uh, I think right now, because of the last 14, 15 months, they want to participate a little bit more in what's going on in, in, in their town or community because they, they haven't. Yep. And so I think let's take that to our advantage. Yeah, that's a good point. And, we, and we've got that's this a good point. Cool. Yeah. So the people who moved here during the pandemic because of the pandemic. That's right. Ron awesome. being one of them. And, you know, there's a, an area of uh, preparation that we need to do as, as you know, the, the model of how you live, how you work. That's changing. Mm -hmm. but, it, you know, so anyway. Right. That's, okay. that's okay. Like, now, that was for next week. I, like I think I just went and done it for everybody's last thought, right? I think we're going places and we hope to have yeah. the participation. Yeah. We're, we're glad we had a tower on <laughs> just, just to finish your thought, yeah, we, we, we know we're going in a direction, but we don't know we're gonna, where we're going to end up. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Nobody knows which way direction this is going to go, but... That's why it's exciting. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna work with it anyway. Well, Russ, final thought. I just said it. Tom. I have one thought. I want to cheer up uh, uh, people. Um, I, I think I'm I'm really grateful that Ron and Amy and you are the, the the you're the next generation of the leaders in this town. And don't get discouraged. Um, the difficult <laughs> we we have butted our heads against the wall for a long time. So I'm encouraged by the fact that the three of you are with us on this project. So thank you. We you are borrow the no. <laughs> <laughs> what did I not hear? Tom has a helmet from butting his head against the wall. So. <laughs> well, it's, it's the way yeah. it is. I've been a volunteer in town since 78. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Tom. And I do appreciate everybody uh, being here. Jessica, final thought? Um, I don't have any other additional final thoughts tonight. I just I would just it, be repeating okay, myself. It's, it's almost 8 o'clock, I get it. No. Yeah. <laughs> but there's not much more to say. We've, no. uh, we've, 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 we've settled we've, a lot. Yeah, we really okay, uh, we've a week off. from today, yes. we'll see yes. you all. And think about who we might want to get pulled in at a personal yeah. level. So, uh, does everybody uh, kind of like the list I put together? Do you want to make sure? Yeah, I'm going to send that list out again. Yes. Okay, so so to structure that, I'm just thinking is take that list and say, okay, over here at Alton Shores, I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. And like for Alton Shores, and I would even say like Round Snake Island, if we know they're having a meeting, I 
if people like if we could go and have dinner at El Coya and speak at their meeting, I would do that. Right. To engage them as a group. Well, I'm not and then as a group and then hopefully we can get I them excited. Anyway, but but, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well let's but this is what I'm saying, it's like because I do feel that you need to do that. You like if if it's possible to get at their meeting, that would be really great as opposed to just one person you can talk to a group even if it's five. Well, East Felton Association meets in August at the uh, church up there. And uh, okay. so we, we, we got some possibilities. All right. We need a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Tom. Tom, take care. Good seeing you. Yep. Everybody, thank you.